on the far side of town Sharing a dream with anyone She's made it through heaven She's made it through hell It's just another story to tell Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. Uh, and as the title of this video has said, today is my last day uh, at JK Transport. So, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> and I say that because technically tomorrow is my last day at JK Transport, but I don't think there's any work tomorrow. I might be wrong, but um, this is definitely my last video at JK Transport. So it's uh, sad times, sad times. We're just going down Birdlip Hill um, and we are on our way to Telford. Um, we're gonna be there in about an hour, an hour and a half. It'll be dark, or nearly light when we get there. I think sunrise is about eight o'clock. We're gonna be there about half past seven. So I think it will be dark, but it will be getting light very soon after we get there. We've got to go pick up a tractor. Um, tractor some tires I think a couple of tires bring it back to Quicklade uh, where I've got to meet up with someone and potentially put a fish tank on I think and then take that to a farm all of it to a farm so um, that's what we've got to do today I don't think it's going to be a mega mega late day today either um, if this is all that I've got planned today then I could be finished by 12 1 o'clock uh, we'll have to see um, I am prepared to do a night out. I've got stuff with me to do a night out if need be. Uh, like I said, tomorrow technically is my last day, not today. And um, yeah, I'm ready to do whatever's thrown at me. <laughs> um, since, since I handed in my notice, I've got to admit, uh, I feel like there's just been like a huge weight lifted off my shoulders. Um, yeah, I kind of briefly went into why I wanted to leave in the last video. But um, it's just long hours. Just long hours, like, today's obviously it's gonna be all right, and Friday was all right as well, because I finished early Friday, when then the board day was a run. Um, which was like two videos ago. But, a lot of the time, like last week for example, uh, I had nine hours rest in between every shift I did last week. So, Monday worked all day, nine hours rest, back in Tuesday. Worked all day, nine hours rest, back in Wednesday. Thursday, worked all throughout the day. I had a three hour rest during the day, whilst on site, got home, had a nine hour rest. So I was a split rest. So I had four nine hour rests. And even though I was home every day, um, I didn't feel like I was home every day, if that makes sense. I was just going home, going to bed, having dinner, having a shower, then go to bed, then wake up and go back to work. So it's just, it's not, it's not healthy. It was just long hours. I want to see my family more. I know, I know truck drivers long hours, that's not the problem, but it's having sufficient break in between shifts that, you know, also helps. <laughs> and uh, I did, I, I requested to come off doing, doing the low loader work, because it's, it's the low loader work, which is the issue. Uh, it's just very long hours on that, and as soon as you finish, minimum rest, back at work again. Just go, go, go all the time. So um, I did ask to come off the low loader work, but uh, there's no, there is nothing else to do, so it was a case of, uh, I said, uh, if you can't take me off, I'm going to have to hand my notice in, and uh, the answer, the reply back was, uh, if that's what you've got to do, that's what you've got to do, so that's what I did. <laughs> I can't go back and say, oh, I, 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 I work, well, I don't want to. Uh, and anyway, it's my girlfriend that um, basically told me to hand my notice in. She actually uh, got a laptop and said, right, right. Write it up now. What your, uh, what do you call it? Ah, words lost. Words lost out of my, my mind. <laughs> uh, my resignation, that's it. She goes, uh, that's it. Open up the laptop and she goes, write your resignation letter. I was like, okay. <laughs> so, do as I told. But, I've got to find a new job because I don't have a new job to go to. So, uh, over Christmas and in the new year, I'm going to be worrying about finding a new job. So, and never mind. We, we can survive on, uh, on my partner's wage, my girlfriend's wage. She runs her own business. 
So, but obviously, the sooner I can get a job, the better. <laughs> Got a wedding to pay for and everything. <laughs> anyway, that's enough uh, of me right now. We're going to head towards uh, Telford now. Not entirely sure what exactly we're going to be able to film footage wise um, because I don't want to upset anyone filming things I shouldn't be filming. Uh, I don't want to part ways with the company on bad terms either, so um, I will be respectful of, uh, of uh, you know, work and clients and stuff like that. So we'll have to see what we can do. But yeah, let's make our way towards Telford uh, and I will see you there. Um, yeah, all this used to be uh, <laughs> 30 mile an hour speed limit all the way through. And then, like, last time I come through, it was a 40 mile an hour speed limit, which, like, dramatically improved the traffic flow. And now it's a 50. Can't believe it. They've actually done it. It got to the stage where people, or I in particular, would, like, dread coming through. Look, it's opening up now. I would dread coming through Birmingham on the M5 at this, um, well, sort of, like, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning and 4, 5 o'clock in the evening. Or even 6 o'clock in the evening. I used to dread it because you know damn well that getting back there the other way cars will be queued up all queued up coming down here and they've actually fully opened it that's awesome oh <laughs> uh, yeah that's uh really good that they've opened that simple thing little road works like that on the m5 now open excellent Okay, we are just coming off the motorway. Well, we just have come off the motorway. On the A41, got to do three quarters of a mile up this road. Make a right hand turn opposite the pub. And that's where we gotta be. It might be quite tight, road-wise, for me to park up. Um, we're gonna literally find out in a second. <laughs> um, looking at the map, it might be a bit tight, but uh, we'll see. Let's, uh, let's make the turn. So I think I need to make a phone call. I got uh, a bloke's phone number. So I'll uh, hopefully be able to park up on the road, the beacons on, and uh, make a phone call, get pulled into where I need to be, uh, and get loaded. That's the plan. I've indicated really early. Never mind. Du -du -du. So we're turning right here. Do, 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 do. I can see this road being busy later when I want to get back out. Ah, there's a bloke there, look, with uh, in a car. Could that be where I need to be? No, I don't think it is. Okay. We are going to stop here. Have I got a car behind me? I think I've got a car behind me. You need to overtake me, mate. That's it, that's it. That lorry's gonna wanna come out now, isn't it? I've got someone coming over to me. Morning. Yeah, for Into here, mate. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's um, there there is there's room down the back to turn round. Yeah. But the lads who uh, park their uh, trailers in there have made a bit of a mess of it. Right. So we've got a set of wheels to go on there. Tractors in here. Yeah. Across the road here. Yeah. So uh, whether you whether you want to uh, I'll drive take it up there and back it round and and uh, I'll I'll take a quick look and just have a look. Yeah. All right, mate. But um. Yeah, so you'll, you'll load uh, the tractor up, will yeah, you? Yeah. Brilliant. All right, mate. Ugh. 
Well, I know you can't see me, but uh, I can explain. There's uh, two big, massive tyres, and I mean massive tyres, <laughs> on, on a pallet, two pallets. And uh, I need to come up here and spin round, apparently. But this is exactly where I, uh, looking at the map last night, it's exactly where I thought I'd have to come in. All right, yeah, okay. All right. Mm, there's not a lot of space up here. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to wide swing, dive into there, reverse back out. That way. Cool, that's doable. That's doable. Right, I'm just coming back along the truck now. Do, do, do. And in I come. Right. First things first, I need to go back. I'm gonna turn this light off a sec. There we go. So yeah, this is where I just walked. Walked all the way down here. There's uh, some trailers parked down here, so I could have I could have just spun round if those trailers weren't there. But because they are, I'm gonna have to take a wide turn, and I mean a really wide turn, and then reverse back up to these hay bales. Actually. Oh, nice, I can spin around here, look. No reversing required. But I'm not sure where we're gonna load it all up. I could just block that car in, I suppose. But the ground's a bit soft, what it looks of it. So I'd rather stay on this bit of road here. But then you've got a camber. <laughs> Should be able to get a tractor round past me there. Hopefully I can put the ramps down, it'll be all right. Right. Let's uh, put the ramps down and get ready. Tractor is on. Mm -mm -mm. It's quite an. Uh, I, I really seriously don't know anything about tractors, but uh, it looks like a, an old one. These wheels are massive. <laughs> John Deere 4050. That is a massive wheel. And they're the wheels we've got to get on in a sec. Anyway, so, apparently I've got some fixings to go on with it as well. So, uh, yeah, we're just waiting for them. I'm gonna put the, uh, the ramps up now because we don't need the ramps anymore. So, let me do that. Up we go. See, this is nice. This low loader works nice. This is 
done um, for somebody else, let's say, not who I normally do the work for. So uh, instructions were clear. <laughs> I think he said he's bringing another tractor over now with, with the fixings on. <laughs> Put these on. Yeah, we're going to be out of here very soon. We're not going to be here for long. And uh, when I turned up, he said uh, that I'm spot on time. He goes, uh, so I said, all right, mate. He said, have you had a good morning so far? He said, yeah, it's been all right. He goes, you've had a good morning, didn't you? I said, why? He goes, because you're, you're here bang on time. <laughs> you know me. Always want to get here bang on time. Punctuality is key. I, I hate being late. Hate being late. But, uh... Never mind. This one on as well. And do it up. Excellent. And he's coming over with the fixings now. Right. I need to get chained up. See you in a bit. Okay, we are loaded and it's starting to get light now as well. So as you can see, we've got it all on there. Look. We've got two massive tires and I mean massive. Uh, so I've used two straps for them. Well, I've got one at the back, one at the, uh, the front, two straps on them look, each. Uh, also gone over uh, at the top then if you can see gone over something which is uh in the tire so just to stop that from coming out the tractor itself like i said is an old one i've just done a check on it and uh well, let me see if i can get it back up Doo -doo -doo. here we go so it was john deere green diesel uh 1987 first registered it's 32 years old 32 year old tractor that tractor right there is older than me <laughs> i'm 29 by the way so yeah um we now got to head towards quick laid or head back to quick laid apparently we've got to get a fish tank I, I haven't been told how big the fish tank is but it could go there on the on the back there in between it could probably go under there if need be and uh We've got room on the back as well. We can get another tire on. I can't imagine the fish tank's bigger than that tire. So, plenty of space. Or if it's a small one, then it can go on my truck if need be. Uh, even though it is technically the last day of being in my truck. But never mind. Right. Let's go. Side locker closed. Jump back in the truck. Make my way back to a quick lead. It's about a two hour drive. Uh, especially considering the time it's 804 so it uh chances are it probably will be a two hour drive we will see right dash cam is on now as well Do -do -do. put in the sat nav drive to work go right let's make our way out of here it's amazing how light it gets isn't it like how quickly it gets half an hour ago it's pitch black you'll, uh, you'll get another look at the uh, the load as we turn around here look look outside my window my driver window Say bye. Bow, bow. Yeah, so we're going to be back about 10 past 10. It's 10 past 8 now, so yeah, it's about two hours. Just over two hours. Uh, now, I said this road could be a nightmare to get out of. And uh, had I left 30 seconds earlier, it might not have been.
lots of traffic coming in. Is that a gap? Nah, there's a gap that if I was in a car, I would definitely get out of. The back end would just be on the road now, and there's just cars still coming, so I would have made him slow down. I'm not in a rush, we can wait. Literally just traffic coming all, all the time. There's a lorry coming with a curtain side of trailer on. I suspect I can go after him. Let's put you back up there, ready. Uh, yeah, after this lorry I can go. There's nothing coming after the lorry. By the way, it's but not for a good 20 seconds. Let's go. Bow, 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 bow. Excellent! Beacon's off. There we go. We are now heading back. <laughs> um, so yeah, all I know, like I said, is got to go and get a fish tank now. No idea what size it is, whether it's fill up, whether it's got water in it or not, whether it's got fish in it or not, whether it's glass, whether it's plastic, whether it's wrapped. i got no idea. <laughs> and apparently we're taking it a mile up the road to, uh, to a farm. We'll have to... Uh, Cross that bridge when we get there. For now, let's head back. See you in a bit. Check this out. Birmingham, M5. No roadworks. <laughs> I um, I saw this on the way um up, but I uh, I didn't I didn't get my cameras on in time. So um, but look, no roadworks. It's so cool. I, I know it, it sounds incredibly sad to say that, but um. I don't know exactly how long these road roads have been going on for. It's got to be like at least a year, maybe two years. Every time I need to go up north, you've got to go on the M5 to get to the M6. And um, yeah, this would just be, be roadworks. It used to be a 30 mile an hour speed limit. 30, 30 miles an hour, it's a motorway. 30 miles an hour road li uh, speed limit. They had um, basically lane three on this side and lane three on the other side. And the central reservation was all like, not there <laughs> for, for quite a while uh, while they were doing it all and they were moving it over and all of that so yeah it's just really cool now to actually be able to finally go through the Bir well, go through Birmingham on the M5 with like hardly any traffic and like back there where I just joined up before I got the cameras on it, was, it goes from two lanes and merges into one and that used to always bottleneck and back up um, like rush hour traffic and in the evening like four or five o'clock used to always back up and so if you were anywhere north of Birmingham, sort of like four o'clock, you knew that you were going to be in traffic on the way back down. So, but yeah, I know, it's really sad, I know, but it's incredibly cool to finally be able to go through Birmingham on the M5 with like no roadworks, no traffic. And it's a 50 at the moment, and they, they may change that, I don't know, but considering it used to be a 30, 50 feels so much faster. I'm doing 47 right now, let's, let's speed up a little bit. Let's speed up, there we go. Now we're doing 50. Yeah! Feel the speed! <laughs> um, yeah, it's nice that it's light out. We're still about an hour and a half away from where we need to be. Still don't know what I'm doing after that or, uh, it, well, before we do the, the fish tank. I don't even know what the fish tank is. So, we'll have to wait and see. But after we've done that and del delivered it all and dropped it all off to the farm, unknown farm, I don't know where it's going. I still don't know what I'm doing after that. So, we'll have to wait and see. But, <clears throat> um, I've got to take my sign down and I've got to take my fan down, which is up there, which you won't be able to see. I've already emptied out all the cupboards. So obviously today's my last day, as far as I'm aware. So I've emptied out all the cupboards. Um, so all I've got to do now is get everything that i got left. Everything I, that I need for trucking can go in my bag. Um, so like I can just start like tomorrow or whatever, a new job, and like, each day I'm ready to go. So like a, a small, like a, a high beers and stuff like that. But like other things like, um, uh, sign and bedding and fan and stuff that's gonna have to go away permanently until I uh, until I get a new job so yeah I'll take the bed and get the bed and wash so it's nice and fresh for when I next use it but yeah no it's gonna be uh, it might be emotional later like packing up and saying bye but it is what it is isn't it so I have to, work, have to wait and see but yeah never mind let's make our way back to uh, to quickly just continue on with our journey so cool though that the M5 is now fully open. I'm glad I got to experience it before I left. 
<laughs> That's so sad, but it's true. Right, see you in a bit. Right, we're going for a quick load. You need to get over, mate. Thank you very much. Didn't say thank you back. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just going for a quick load now. You're probably wondering why I'm in an orange high vis, because I wasn't when you last spoke, or when I last spoke. Um, I thought I saw um, that one of my straps had come off. So uh, I pulled over into a lay by to check. Um, but it hadn't. It hadn't, it hadn't come off at all, so. Uh, are you gonna let me through? Yeah. Yeah, no, it hadn't come off, but I needed to check because I thought it did. I thought I could see uh, one strap, one chain. Well, in actual fact, I could see two straps. The chain hadn't come off either. The chain was also there, but um, I didn't see that for whatever reason. Do, do, do. This roundabout's awkward because I need to get right on the other side of the road to actually make it. Thank you. Didn't say thank you back either. I don't think Quick Leg likes HGVs. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I, I needed to pull over and just double check anyway that the uh, it was all strapped up securely, and it was. So that's good. All strapped up, good to go. And we're just around the corner from where we need to be. I've just found out I just found out where we're delivering it to uh, after we get the fish tank and also possibly how big the fish tank is. Uh, anyway, the place we're delivering it to is opposite a lay-by, uh, but the said lay-by has a big boulder in it or something, stopping trucks from getting in easily. So that could be interesting, but apparently they've widened the gate entrance. So hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, and also, I, I said, do you know how big the fish tank is to my boss? And he isn't sure what I'm picking up or which one I'm picking up. But he said that in the reception area, there is a fish tank and apparently it's the size of a car. <laughs> so I was like, what? So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. It might be big, it might be small. I don't know, either way, I've got room for it. So it's, if, I mean, if it's the size of the car, one thing is for sure, it's not coming in the truck. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see though. But yeah, I'm loving the sunshine today, man. Nice and sunny. Shades are on. I've actually packed all my sunshades away, and this is the only power I had left, so, in the truck. So, um, I'm wearing these ones today. Normally, I'd wear, like, brightly coloured ones. It's just what I like. But anyway, let's, uh, let's get there. We've got, we've got to go, I'm assuming, we've got to go past where we're picking up the tank, go into my yard, and spin around and come back out so um, I can go in facing the right way. I don't want to be spinning tight on the spot with a fully loaded trailer. So I'm going to go into my yard first, take a nice uh, wide spin or put a drive up somewhere and then reverse back, do like a three point turn to get back out. That's what we're going to do. So yeah, we're nearly there now. And then when, to get to this place we need to get to, we need to take a left hand turn here. But as far as I'm concerned, Last time I saw, the road was closed. Yeah, it is, because it gets flooded here all the time. So yeah, that road's closed. So we'll have to go straight on and go around the long way. That's what we're gonna do. Anyway, let's uh, get to our yard first. Can I drive straight in that way? I think I can. Yeah, I might just go straight in this way. Oh, bloody hell, that's big. Go on, mate. Well, you're the man, Luke, aren't you? <laughs> bloody hell, what, you been up there overnight? No, I, got, I left at R5. Wow. Yeah. When he, he emailed me through on that map, and he said he's on his way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah and I, I was there for like half seven. Well done, good man. Okay. It's on.
fish tank. <laughs> it's massive. <laughs> um, if I uh, come up close to a big old massive fish tank. Water features in it. Yeah, we've uh, had to take off one of the tyres to get it on. Um, that's no big deal, he said. But unfortunately, we couldn't squeeze the tyre on the back. They said we can put it on top of there, but he said, no, don't worry about it. So that's all cool. We're all good to go. As soon as he's ready. But yeah, that's awesome. Nice load, that is. Okie dokie. We're out of here. We'll just beat. Right, okay. Unfortunately, all my GoPros have run out of battery because I've left them on. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to have to keep this short and sweet. But uh, we're, we're leaving. We're slightly wide, so I've got beacons on. And uh, that fish tank is massive. That really is the size of a car and wider. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we've got beacons on, let people know we are wide load. And uh, we're only going down the road. We are going to take the road closure away as well. He's going to move the signs out of the way for me to get in. So he said it's fine down there. So yeah, anyway. Going to get these GoPros charged up when, they are, when I get there and I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Right, that sun is bright. It's been in my eyes. Like the whole time while I'm moving. <laughs> right, we're just exiting the farm now. Giving me the all clear to come straight out. I think he said, wait for him. Right, yeah, so that's all off. It was fun getting the uh, the fish tank off. It's so large that um, I had to yeah, they had to have a forklift either side, and then I um, driven underneath it to load it up, uh, and the same to get it off. Uh, forklift either side, and then I drive off to uh, to get out. But to do that, I got to put the ramps down as well. <laughs> so it's like put the ramps down, put the ramps back up, then move forward. Where I've just been, it's been quite tight. There was not a lot of room to play with. Uh, I had to do a really tight blind down, uh, blind, a blind side reverse into where it needed to be and then um, move forward and move backwards and move forward and move backwards yeah it's just one of them so uh, yeah I'm not sure what I've got planned after this uh, I've got to go and drop this trailer then hitch up to his Lamborghini trailer and reverse that back like a metre or two because I moved it forward a metre or two Friday uh, so they can get into one of their storage places so i've got to move that back for them and then uh i don't know what i'm doing after that i've got to get a break in because i'm on i'm on four hours and ten minutes now so by the time i've done all that i will be on four and a half hours driving um so if i do if i do have to do anything else then i have to get a break in so we will see we will see i'll um i'm gonna go crack on and do all this and then uh oh they've opened the road by the looks of it have they? No, they haven't. Plenty of room though for me to get out. Oh, he's going to move it back. Okay. Do, 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 do. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to go get this trailer itched off. And then uh, get the Lamborghini trailer on and move that back. And then uh, I'll see you in a bit in the cab because I need to uh, empty out my cab. So uh, I will see you. This is not a goodbye. I will see you in a sec. <laughs> right. We're, uh, we're done for today, in terms of work anyway. No more work today. Uh, well, no more deliveries or collections today. What we've got to do now is uh, get the rest of my stuff out. That's what we're doing. Uh, 
boss had asked me to uh, to wash the truck. I was like, all right, am I going out tomorrow in the truck? He was like, I don't know yet. I said, all right, well, I said, what's the point in washing the truck today if I'm coming back out tomorrow? Because um, you're just going to ask me to wash the truck again tomorrow. And he was like, oh yeah. So uh, I haven't got to wash the truck now, but I do have to wash the trailer. So I, I will uh, do that when uh, when I've packed everything away. So yeah, time to uh, get everything out of my truck. Let's go. Yeah. 